Okay, we're still working here in Objective 5.1 for the PowerPoint 2016 Objective Tasks. And what we're going to do here is work on this section in here which says to open the PowerPoint 5.1c presentation. So let's just get that done. Here is PowerPoint 5.1c and I'll just double click to open that. And it's here on the left side of my screen. It does open in protected view which means that I need to enable editing in order to do make any changes to this file. So I'm going to click enable editing. Now it's ready to go and notice up here that we don't see a, a read only warning. If it does say read only then you'll have to save this file to your local computer put it on your hard drive in order to uh, make the read only go away because you won't be able to do any editing if it's read only. And in my instance of PowerPoint, it says that this file is saved to this PC. So now I have 5.1c open. Now it's telling us here that we want to compare and combine the presentation that we have open here with the PowerPoint 5.1d presentation from that practice file folder. So we're going to compare and combine. So we're going to come back over here to our PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to click on review and then compare here in the compare group. I'll click on the compare option here and this tells us to find in our folder here. My folder is called demo and we're going to find the 51D file. So I select it and then notice down here at the bottom we have the file name but the option here doesn't say to open it says to merge there are there are other options over here but we're just going to merge because that's the in that's what we're using here with the compare so I'm just going to merge this by clicking it and when I do that then everything that was in 51c is still here but PowerPoint automatically brings in everything that was in 5.1d. So this file that you're looking at now still says 5.1c up here, but this file now contains everything from both files. The merge happens automatically. Once you click on the file that you want to merge in and then you click on the merge button, then everything automatically comes together all at once. And what we have here now are a list of different changes that have been made. For instance, this one starts up here at the top and it talks about the theme change that has been made. If I were to click on this little checkbox here, then you would see that if I were to accept this, and that's what it means. If I check it, that means it's accepted. If I leave it unchecked, that means it's rejected. Now, I can see all of these changes. For instance, here on slide two, I have a little icon showing here and I can click this and it shows me that all changes to a rectangle 8 are just the one here on it inserted. I could select any of these like this one. I could say I'll take that one but I want to reject everything else. Or I could click this one and that would say I want to accept this one but I want to reject everything else. If you just leave it all unchecked then you're going to reject all of those changes. If I select this button up here or this uh, checkbox up here notice that it checks all of those little sub check marks and that means that I would accept all of these changes to rectangle 8 so be careful PowerPoint is not real clear about this PowerPoint and editing of merged documents in PowerPoint is not nearly as smooth as it is in Microsoft Word so you want to make sure that you understand that if you check it you're accepting it if you leave it unchecked, then that means that you're rejecting it. Now that's one way that we can see these changes through here. There is another way, for instance, if I click up here on this top slide to make sure I start at the top, I could come up here to the compare group and simply click on next. And it's going to show me one at a time all of the different changes that have been made in here. You can just click on next and keep going until you get to the very end. That's one way of doing it. 
you can click next and previous to go and look through those but if you have the revisions pane open you also have a couple of other ways you can click on slides and this right here shows the revisions that would occur to and I notice I have slide one selected so this is what slide one would look like if I were to accept this change if I clicked here on accept then slide one would instantly look like this if I clicked next and clicked on slides there would be no changes on that particular slide but I can just keep going and see whatever changes might come under this slides tab if I click here on details then details are going to show me a lot of details about each of the different changes and I can again select on next 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 and notice that it changes right here in the slides changes it's telling you what would happen if I if I click right here on this icon to get rid of this little tag down here then if I click up here on this then it opens this up and shows me what I uh, would be doing if I were to accept this so I can just go now to the next slide and see what it would look like well that's the end so I can cancel that and I'll just go to previous and it, here's that one previous there's that one previous there's that one okay but the most important thing for you to remember here is that if you check it that means you're accepting it if you leave it unchecked that means that you're going to reject it so it tells us here to review the marked differences and that's what we've just done and it says click next to move between the changes and select each set of changes to display them on the side and here it says now we want to reject the changes on slides two and seven so let's look at slide two first over here and I'm going to look at the changes and this is telling us to reject those changes and remember the way that you reject the change is you simply leave these checkboxes unchecked I know that's not very intuitive we normally want to find a button that says reject but if you look up here in the compare group there is no option for reject I can click here on this reject all day long and it's not gonna do anything there is an accept option and if I click the little drop down arrow it tells me I can accept those changes but I don't want to accept it because the instructions say to reject it so my only way of doing that here is to make sure that I do not check these checkboxes just leave them blank if I leave them unchecked then they will be deleted so that's slide two I'm going to reject those changes I'm going to come down to slide seven and I'm going to see the changes here but I'm going to make sure that this remains unchecked so we have made sure that the changes on slides two and seven will be rejected and then it says here to accept the presentation changes and it says here the theme and additional content and then in the preview okay so the first up here is this theme here's the theme and this is what it says in the instructions we're going to accept the presentation for the theme so I'm just going to click here on the checkbox to accept that notice the theme affects the entire presentation because it's the theme and so I'm going to leave it checked because I want to accept it and then down here between slides 8 and 9 we have another icon and we click this and it's telling us that there has been in the merged file an inserted equipment replacement by some unknown user and it's telling us that we're going to accept this how do I know because it's told us to the only thing we're going to reject are the changes to slide 7 but we're going to accept everything else so we're going to come here and select this little option right here where it says insert equipment placement now notice the difference between slide 8 and slide 9 these are basically just two normal looking slides but when I come right here and select this one to accept there that there is new content and that's what it says here the theme we did that when we checked the option at the top and then the additional content is this one right down here you have to be careful and look for these then click this and then check the box and now all of a sudden right here we have a new slide between what was eight and nine the old nine slide becomes slide 10 
the new nine slide now is a slide that has this table in it and we've checked it to accept it so if we were to walk back through here it started at the top up here we could just click on next and next and next and we would see that everything that we're wanting to accept has been checked and everything that we do not want to accept has been left unchecked we click here to end that review and then that causes notice it says in the presentation review applying the current accept and reject decisions so that's what I do I just simply close it and it says yes closes the revision pane and now everything that I've checked has been accepted because we still have this slide down here and everything that we clicked on reject has now been rejected 